Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The Hello, time ladies and is gentlemen. My name is Kerry Halcyon, and welcome to Let's Play Half-Life. I have decided that I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to make a Half-Life playthrough. With an playthrough. estimated high of um, 105. Kind of like a let's play. The Black Mesa compound more, is maintained and, um, at a pleasant I, 68 you know, degrees game, at all times. Series. This train is inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If you've ever seen the uh, green destination, you've a high know security a lot about this game already. Beyond sector C, I mean, you will need to return to the central transit um, hall all of which in probably area have much better commentary and or even like a high security train. Um, but I've decided, you, you know what, I'm going to try and take your this identity to seriously. the retinal so clearance system. You must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. That's an impressive rocket. I love rockets. Kind of wish I owned one, but that requires me to be rich. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. Maybe so much fun to be able to In explore this. Of an emergency, you can't actually explore this. Passengers the are to remain seated but there's a lot of really and await cool further instructions. If it is necessary to exit the train. Also, by the way, I am also playing this really old first. game on Windows 8, so there Please are quite a few stay bugs away from compared to some of the original stuff. And proceed to this game ran a lot, station a lot until assistance arrives. and it has as many bugs on Windows 7. Admittedly, though, this is a really old game, almost as old as I am. Back to when all of this stuff was new, and all of this was a game. Because it took forever to make this kind of uh, processing stuff. It's not like today where we've got like the Crisis 3 engine with all of its awesome odds and ends. This took um this took forever to render on a lot of systems. Also back when Valve was based a console developer group. Now that I remember, they did a lot of console games. That the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the level 3 facility. I feel bad for those semi-finals will be announced in a separate secure access transit. That's going to help the safety risk right there. More lives than your own may depend on your fitness. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. No, if Please only, contact if only jobs like that were for further information. Yeah. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, uh, biotechnology, oh, right. uh, Please contact Yeah, this is on high graphics by the way, so the yeah. Black Mesa yeah. Mesa I'm hoping I'm doing a uh, Black Mesa playthrough. I really hope that my voice can be over hers, or vice versa, because, I don't know. I'm actually better if you A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. See these Work guys? safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. These guys are pretty smart. They know to warn people ahead now of time, hey, if you're not going to keep yourself safe, you're not going to stick test labs around. And control facilities. I wonder what's further down this tram. I guess we'll never know. 
Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Uh, Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Yep. And this is where it starts. Oh, I've also noticed is that whenever he makes a sound effect, it doesn't matter if uh, if it's his voice or something else, but he will make um he will actually move his mouth. Watch. I'll show you in a minute. As soon as he walks close here. Watch his mouth. <laughs> That's a nice bug right there. Of course it's um many, 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 many years since this was first developed. <laughs> Windows 8 is not very forgiving with a lot of little games, I've noticed. Alright, so let's go on in. So we are here in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Anomalous Materials. That's us. How old it is, by the way. Look at all of this equipment. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Mm. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Even though this game is really old, and the models look like they've aged quite a bit, the graphics that's still look really on? good. I mean... I do like how smooth everything runs. I guess it's part of what I guess part of the problem is my computer. So well, not part of the problem. Part of that is my computer. So maybe but that looks cool. Get away from there, Freeman! I'm expecting an important message. Um, message. So this is like a phone. I don't know. So we are in Sector C test labs for anomalous materials. Anomalous materials in you. I love their logo. It looks great. I kind of wish I worked in a company like Black Mesa, although I do work for an, um, an office job. I'm sure I'm sure an insurance company, as a matter of fact. Right. Um, so what's over here? These guys. Right. Hello. Aren't you a bit worried about that exponential cascade scenario we discussed? Hmm. I have no doubt. All this place. All right. Then there's like the G-man as well. All this discussion and stuff. You aren't going soft on that ethics issue again, are you? What, what else is over here? I've actually not been over here in my last playthrough. I really don't know. Periodic table of elements. Um, what is all of this? It'd be fun to look at this. Li actually, you know what? No, I think about it. Sure you actually go through here later on in the game. In fact, this guard right here keeps you from progressing further into the facility. It'd be awesome if there was a mod for this or for the Black Mesa mod that allowed you to explore the rest of the facility in its heyday. I mean, sure, Half-Life is fun, but it's after you've played it so much, eventually you start to wonder what's hiding behind all these little nooks and crannies that are otherwise inaccessible to you Don't you think you we should recalculate game. those resonance dampening factors again? You are completely wrong. Good morning, Gordon. Big day today, Freeman. These all look like really good computers, even though, realistically ah, speaking, the technology, to see you. the technology that these computers have is like ancient and outdated. Are you running those tunneling? All right, we're gonna keep going down here this way. I forgot to check what time it was when I started this, so that I know when to do episode increments, because I don't want this to be too long. No smoking area. This is the break room. Raymond? Come over here, and actually, if you start messing with this. My god, what are you doing? <laughs> you know how in Half Life 2 it references the, uh, um, the casserole? That's what they reference. As I expected. Indeed. 
<laughs> oh, pro tip. Soda Pop actually gives you, uh, like, five health. So if you are um, doing a one HP wonder kind of thing, that's a good way to freshen yourself back up so you don't die. All right, Greetings. here we go. Hello! These guys are on their toilets. A couple of aging old men just this sitting there. This is all there. within theoretical limits. <laughs> Jones, Guthrie, Birdwell, Coomer. It'd be interesting to figure out who all these people are. Oh, Bond's in here, too. Apparently, um, Secret Service had to send in an agent to uh, come join Black Mesa for a little bit. For obvious reasons, of course. Because anomalous materials is something that's really important to the Secret Service. Alright, here we go. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. High impact I must remember to report that situation. Alright, so that's the uh, suit. It starts talking to you, and it's the only time it'll talk to you in the game. So, not necessarily that bad. It's nice that it doesn't keep doing that. And I love this music. Alright, make my way through here. These are all really cool. This this facility, I mean. What is that? And why is it exposed? I guess this must be a maintenance hatch. Kind of sad that it's all Go exposed right on like through, that. sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Indy, Ugh, excuse me. Greetings. <laughs> Remember when the ice scanners were so high tech? Yep. That's old school. <laughs> 